Managing Providers. In this short video, we'll cover how to add profiles for the healthcare professionals who work at your organization or clinic, how to update the details of a profile, and how to remove a profile if the healthcare professional ceases to practice at your clinic. Adding profiles for the healthcare professionals on staff at your clinic allows you to submit bills on their behalf. Note that the term healthcare professional refers to the people who provide healthcare services at your clinic. It doesn't refer to the administrative staff who perform clerical tasks and billing. You shouldn't create profiles for administrative staff, but instead create user accounts for them so that they can log into your provider portal account. To learn how to create a user account, please see our video, Managing Users in the Provider Portal, available from the eClaims Learning Corner and the WSIB Training and Resources Center. First, let's look at how to add profiles for healthcare professionals to your clinic. To start, select the My Account icon, and then select Providers. Next, select the plus sign. Enter the healthcare professional's information, including their first and last name, their TELUS provider ID, if they have one, as well as their start date at your clinic. Next, select the appropriate role from the role dropdown. If you don't see the role you're looking for, select Miscellaneous Practitioner and enter a role description in the resulting role description field. If the selected role requires a license, you'll need to select the license issuer and enter the license number and date of issue. License information is mandatory for Canadian healthcare professionals only. The country and province or state of the license are set to those of your clinic and cannot be changed. Note that international healthcare professionals are only supported for certain services, and therefore you may not see the country field. If your healthcare professional has more than one role, select Add Another Role. Once you've entered all the information, select Save Changes. Your request is transmitted to TELUS and will be processed within 10 business days. Once the profile has been approved, it will appear in your provider list and you can start billing on behalf of the healthcare professional. You won't receive a confirmation email, so be sure to check your provider's list in the portal to confirm that your request is complete. Occasionally, you may find you need to update the information of a healthcare professional on your staff. To do so, locate their profile in your provider list, then select Manage Provider Details. You can update the profile's first and last name and the license details. If the license information has changed, be sure to wait until the new license information has been published by the appropriate license issuer before updating it in the portal, as TELUS will need to verify the information. You can add additional roles to the profile by selecting Add Another Role. You can remove roles as long as there is one approved role remaining associated to the profile. Select the garbage can to the right of the role to remove it. You'll be prompted to confirm your choice, as this change is immediate and the role will disappear from the profile. Be sure that you've submitted all outstanding bills related to this role prior to removing it from the profile. Select Continue to confirm. When your updates are complete, select Save Changes. Your request is transmitted to TELUS and will be processed within 10 business days. If a healthcare professional ceases to work at your organization, you should remove their profile from your provider list. To remove a profile, locate it in your provider list and select Remove. You'll be prompted to confirm your choice, as this change is immediate and the profile will disappear from your provider list. Be sure that you've submitted all outstanding bills related to this profile prior to removing it from your list. Select Remove to confirm. This concludes our video. Thanks for watching.